Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I've got this Hulti 8.0. It is a Hulti battery. It says Hulti on it. But it's um, been reselled and packed up by Lupo Batteries. From what I can tell, that must be Poland. So this company in Poland. This guy bought this battery and hasn't done well for him. Not just one flashing light. And if you go to put it on the charge... No. That's it. She goes to charge and then she says no. First action probably is to just take a, a voltage check from the top of the battery. 19.83 there. Which you would say is probably a high voltage. If we were talking about Makita, we're talking about Milwaukee or DeWalt, it would be a high enough voltage. But this is not. This is a higher voltage battery. This is a 21.6 nominal voltage or a 24 volt battery so that's a little low for it so instead of five banks of cells like the other brands have this has got six banks of cells you say probably a little low so we just got to get into it and see what is actually going on within the pack and with the screws out we'll just open the pack and see we get the bottom off the seat <coughs> because it's an eight amper it's got 21700 cells. They're bigger than the 18650s that are in the standard Halti or Milwaukee or DeWalt or whatever. 4 volts, that's a good bank. 4 volts, very good bank too. 3.97 close to the other rest too. 3.95. 3.95. 3.95 so those cells are all good they're all showing top voltage and if you add up 6 by 4 volts more or less you should be getting 24 volts that should be a fully charged pack there but since we're going to get 19.83 out the top there has to be something else wrong so we need to get the, the top off to see what is actually going wrong here there's something going wrong with this they were Right. There we are. If we look, you see it's it's a home. There's a little spot welder they've used for this. It's nothing very sophisticated. I wouldn't I'm not gonna slag off their work. I'm certainly not gonna do that because you know I've done rougher jobs myself. Cell balancers are all attached, you know. But if you see look at it there. Look at that. The negative terminal has disconnected. So we're not getting the full connection there. And that's why. Did they try and spot weld that or did they try and... Was the nickel too heavy or what was going on there? Anyway, that's what's wrong with this battery. I, I'll bet that's all wrong. So we just got to reconnect this and I think we should have a good job. Probably solder that on first and then spot weld it to the rest. Solder that on there like that and spot weld that to the side. So that's it all stuck together now. That job done, we're just gonna put it onto the pack again. So 
So we check the voltage coming out of the top of the battery. It's 23.89 instead of 19.83. So that was the problem. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out the channel for all my other videos.